Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eve, and today we're going to be sharing the very secret to stopping oil burning. Why your motor's oil burning, why the oil disappears, but there's no leaks on the ground. <laughs> we're going to share all the secrets, but before we get into each and every step, which I want you to definitely subscribe so you can come back and watch this video. It's a little long, but it's going to pay off big in the long run. Aaron, this is his Honda Civic. Right here is going to clean the rings. So basically you have these pistons and around the piston you have these little metal rings and they get this crusty carbon deposits in it. And this right here is a very thin detergent that's going to melt a lot of that carbon buildup out of the rings. It's going to allow the motor to have better compression, smoother idle and less oil consumption. There and you can pour that in and it's this very, very thin detergent. And this actually helps condition seals, rubber gaskets. You can actually use it every single oil change if you'd like to. Now Aaron's going to start her up and we're going to idle her for 15 minutes. Clean your valves, injectors, carbon deposits inside the combustion chamber. And a lot of people, they say, well, what the heck would that look like? This right here would be a dirty injector, basically shooting straight. A good clean injector atomizes this misting action. You can see all these little droplets. But without those little droplets and air between the droplets, you can't burn all the fuel. That's why you're getting poor fuel mileage and low compression. It's because you have all this carbon buildup. It's like a clogged artery in your heart. Once you get that artery clogged, you just die. This is how we revive it. Just put this in every 4,000 miles. And this right here on some cars, can get up to six average miles a gallon better in one bottle. We've had people that had that much crusty buildup on a Silverado, this right here, gotten 14% more power in just one treatment with 100,000 miles on it. That's actually on the Amsoil website. If you wanna try that product, you click down in the comment section, you'll see more, M-O-R-E, and you click on that bold thing, whoop, and it'll drop down. You'll see the link to that product. Shove her in. Anyone can do it. And even if you have a newer vehicle with the gasless gas cap compatible double flaps, you can penetrate both flaps with this tip. And that's so you can not only stick it in, you can also yank it out. Behind the motor are done. We got our 17 mil socket and we got our, uh, our breaker bar. Want to get a little better angle on it? Yeah. See if you can tap her from a better angle. Perfectly on. We're on. Yep. All right. Here we go. Oh wow! Wow, that was cranked down yeah. 10, 104. Because I pushed down. Um, I, I pushed down like 80. <sighs> Chaco waterfall coming. And there she blows. Nice. And now you can get Real your oil dark. filter. So go ahead and set that down here. Here's a towel. Okay. Okay, it's yep. spinning. And just watch that towel doesn't go in the oil. Perfect. And now you can get her by hand without the towel. Let her funny. drop? Uh, nope, don't nope. let her drop. Just, okay. just turn her upside down so she all empties in. Okay. There we go. Boy, she doesn't smell that much. That's a good thing. That means there's not that much uh, buildup. Good. Not as bad as I thought it would be. Boy, she threads for miles, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, dump her out, set that filter down on the cardboard right here. Okay. Just set it right there. It's right, good right in here. Yep, okay. set it right here. Perfect. And now we're gonna drop her level. Just set her there. We're on the plastic. That time to lube up our filter, putting on a Wix filter. Now you might say even. Why would you put on such a cheap filter like that when you got the Amsoil one? Well, that's an excellent question. We're gonna be doing that because not all the carbon buildup came out of this little angel. Actually, half of it's still inside. The flush only gets about half. But the detergents in this signature series right here is gonna get the other half. This has proprietary dispersants and detergents that get this carbon to come off the walls of the metal, 
circulate around and end up in the filter. Our old doggy scraps filter that came off is made uh, in China, I believe. Wix is US made. It's a much higher quality filter, uh, better threads, um, better casing, but still similar construction. And this right here is our Amsoil filter, which we're gonna be putting on in a few thousand miles, probably about 3,000. This is even better construction, thicker sidewall and better grip. And you can see it actually has a better flow with a higher quality media, which we're gonna talk more about. Time to pour in the liquid gold and get this filter primed. Go ahead and get her all lubed up. And this is what we call pouring honey on pancakes. And I know it looks gooey and delicious, but this is delicious for your car. I say in the channel, if it ain't messy, it ain't fun. If it ain't fun, it ain't messy. That's why the wetter, the better. Now you can go ahead and wipe our rubbers, make sure the O-ring's nice and clean. We're gonna give him a towel so he can get some grip on this little angel. And we're gonna go ahead and thread her on. We're emptying out the old liquid Chaco. See what we got coming out. Let's do it. Trust the process. Beautiful. See what we got. Go ahead and dump her all out. That's what we call the dark Chaco. Here is exactly two quarts of crankcase motor oil. With my deductions with a little bit in the filter and the engine flush that we put in that was 16 ounces. He had exactly 1.87 quarts of oil in this motor. It's a 3.7 quart uh, crankcase. This burned half the oil and that can happen very easily out here in the desert with the high heat. What can happen is you say, well, my motor runs fine. You go on a small jaunt for 600 miles. You're out in the open road racing around and you say, boy, my car's smoking. I wonder why. <laughs> well, that means you completely ran out of motor oil and that's the number one way you can wreck your motor. So what you want to do is make sure you keep an extra quart of oil with you. You always top her off, check your dipstick, at least on a, a car like this, I would say every week or so. Used to the vehicle, then you can check it once a month. But if it's a newer vehicle, I definitely recommend once a week. Boom, like every good scary movie, the killer always comes back to life and that's the slap. This right here, the liquid gold is going in and Aaron is putting it in. And this is 100% synthetic. And this is the very first in synthetic way back in 1972, American Petroleum Institute certified. Some people climb over mountains to get their hands on it. You can start pouring and you're gonna see how glorious the gold looks. So pure, so clean, almost untouchable. Wow. This will burn at about half the rate of the best mobile one. So it has significantly less oil coking on the turbos and an oil manufacturer can call a full synthetic full synthetic when it's only 25% synthetic. This is 100% synthetic and it keeps a much higher film between the metal, less friction, less heat, less wear. 3.7 quarts going in and then we're going to go ahead and motor her up and we're going to go ripping around the block so you can hear and feel the difference. You do it in your sleep and she boo boo. Oil change was 564 miles past the interval, and it was a lot of months past. It was about 10 months. Total car miles, 147, 547. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed in myself. I mean, honestly, I'm embarrassed, and um, I need to pay attention to that. That's ridiculous. I, I, don't, I don't change the oil on this car typically. Uh -huh. I, I take it in, I get the cheapy $29 conventional change at the Meineke. And, uh, you know, they don't say, hey, you ran that down to two quarts. You need to be careful. They don't say that. So, ah. um, you know, but now I know. You've told me before at the farmer's market, you've said, check that dipstick. Like, ah, it, it, I've never had a problem, but the problem was happening. And because I didn't check the dipstick i didn't know using for every 18 degrees hotter a lubricant runs it oxidizes at twice the rate a beautiful car like this that runs amazing and you go do a long jaunt say to big bear go uh, to california five six hundred mile run and you run low on coolant what happens is the coolant runs low it starts to boil and once that boils you lose all your uh, heat transfer bubbles doesn't allow the actual liquid to touch the aluminum to pull the heat out so now the oil runs hotter 
boom, before you know it, that last two quarts burns down to one quart. 500 miles later, you're down to no quarts. And now all of a sudden you're driving at 106 miles an hour in the back country road, back uh, desert road, there's no one around. And all of a sudden there's this steam coming up on your window and you go, no, that can't be. And then all of a sudden you pull off on the side of the road and that's it. That is the end. I'll say this, okay. I got lucky that <laughs> Vegas heat has not come. Wow. Because this spring has been abnormally cold. We're, I mean, we're, we're 10, 15 degrees, maybe 20 cooler yeah, than normal. Crazy cold. Yeah, and I've only put about 750 miles since that, you know, it needed the, the oil interval change. And I mean, if this would have been 110 temperature, I mean, I, I would have driven out to Valley of Fire and just the back road from late, uh, you know, the Lake Mead Scenic Drive oh. and just been stranded out there hating myself. Give her a good solid wipe. It always be easy with your dipstick. These are plastic. You don't want one to break on you. Now keep her tipped on, bring her out here and hold her right over my hands. And we are absolutely smack dab in the middle. Now, sometimes when you use the flush, it can thin out the oil where you get more out. It actually makes it come out quicker. So we're actually gonna add exactly 0.1 quart more. I bring back an old tradition installing the badge of honor. Aaron's got it right here. This is it. Let's get this the badge this. of honor. Okay. Now, just like the tires on your vehicle, there's always better tires you can get, just like the motor oil in your car. Just because the manufacturer says that's what's supposed to go in your car doesn't mean there's something better. You can use that to wipe a little bit. And we're gonna really imprint her on and remember that there's always something better you can get for your car. I'm just sad that Meineke is never gonna see this sticker. <laughs> wow. Wow, she's quiet. She is quiet. Here we go, Aaron. It's time to drive. Let's do it. Keys to the kingdom. <laughs> Let's Make sure it. all the passengers are in. Yep. On here. So how does she feel so far? Oh, it's smoother. Much smoother. Um the engine, I, I'm, I mean, I'm talking about the engine, the acceleration feels smoother. And and then that whole clutch action, I mean, that's just, wow. That's, I mean, that, that was completely necessary. Completely. Wow. wow. Shift at 4,000, which is what the owner's manual wow. says. That thing is smooth. That thing is smooth. The snap-on giveaway we do sometimes, so definitely leave that comment below. I randomly select people down there. Aaron, what were you saying about uh, this car and the little experience you had? This was a few years ago, coming out of a driveway in San Diego. I, five miles per hour or less, I collided with a steel plate in the road for construction that was sticking up too much and my car halted and what it did is it jolted me forward seat belt locked up but the seat belt didn't just locked up there's a gunpowder charge in the seat belt that triggered and this thing like popped and it i'm here you know i'm here where it was and i i can't get my seat belt on anymore to do like a modified seat belt situation now just a 70s lap belt you know if it was good enough for the 70s it's good enough today right <laughs> i've got this going uh the red airbag light is on because the computer module reset so you know took it to honda they diagnosed it twenty three hundred dollars to fix everything my plan is to try to do it for under 400 myself i was so shooken up i didn't completely know what happened or why i was smelling gunpowder 
and um, I w happened to be transporting a, a pistol that was in a, in, a, in a transport case, and I I wasn't even sure if the if the pistol discharged. I, it, you know, I it, because of the jolt, I just was completely shooken up. And it took me a moment to like assess what went on. And then I looked on the internet and learned that these seat belts have a gunpowder charge in there to like safety, safety mechanism lock so, on. So what it's or, doing like, is it's just going like this. So I'm, I have this fastened and basically up here, it goes like this. Yeah, well, it is didn't suck it did? up. It, it'll do this. Like you go too fast, that's, that's the normal lock. But when the computer senses like a certain kind of halting with the speed, it will dis it, it will it will do a gunpowder charge and further lock, so it won't even go back. It won't retract. Oh, this is like the first safety, but right then it, it'll go back. Yeah, this one, this one, there's no retract. Oh, it locks right there. It completely there. locks. Yeah, that gunpowder. So I'm in this car. There's smoke. The windows are closed. And um, I'm like, what the hell just happened? I never called the insurance because I figured they'd salvage the car because the, the Honda repair, $2,300. The car value may be twenty five to 2900 before the coronavirus. We have here is the Jade Gua Sha. These are hand shaped in Thailand. This is like exercise for the skin to help keep your collagen in your skin more elastic. Ancient belief is drain the lymphatic. You can drain the lymphatic on the whole body legs, arms, everything. Uh, you can have a friend help you get your back, you know, different areas. We have the cleansing foam, high-end botanical cleanser for your face and neck. You can do this daily. We recommend you always finish up with a moisturizer after because this will um, remove a lot of the dirt and oil. Your cleansing foam, alkaline pH, your jade gua sha, jade stone, hand-shaped in Thailand. We have a 36 retail, 29 retail, little, little, you know, giveaway we have here. Thanks for giving that yeah, to the channel, Aaron. Yeah, free shipping. You yeah. Know. So I've personally had this done on me by the woman that created this. That's his uh, good friend. The tie lift. The tie yeah, lift. The technique. Yep. And you'll actually notice um, your whole throat and everything feels a lot tighter. You'll feel your circulation is increased. That's what I personally felt. And then I also use another one cream that he has that actually exfoliates your skin. With and the rice beads. Yep, it's rid of the dead skin. You have less ingrown hairs. It allows for a tighter, cleaner, closer shave. I only use that one about twice a week. To say if you want to polish your push, your puss, and keep that sucker nice and clean, you want this stuff. Clean tie lift, four step process. And for this giveaway, all you do is leave a comment down below. Let us know your best results with the Emsoil products. Have a chance to be randomly selected. To head back and do the manual transmission fluid. We're gonna make it right here. I want you to check out that video. Definitely subscribe so you can come back and learn how to get your vehicle to run longer and stay longer. That's what we're doing on the channel. This thing's gonna run better than brand new when we get done with her. That's the goal. Yeah, and there's more than two quarts in there, which is also nice. <laughs> Check out this video right here, and we'll see you back next time right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to keeping those vehicles wet, lubed, and protected.